I'm Jim McGeehan, and I'm the owner of Dynatrac. In 1988, Dynatrac was the first company to build and design an aftermarket Dana 60 front drive axle for the four-wheel drive world. It was made from all brand new parts, not from a junkyard. In 2002, we launched the legendary Pro Rock 60. The Pro Rock 60 was noted by JP Magazine as one of the 10 products that changed the four-wheel drive industry. We're very proud of that. Today, I'm really excited to talk about the new Pro Rock 60 XD. This is the next step in the evolution of the Pro Rock. We've got a lot of great new features into this housing that we want to tell you about today. First of all, the one thing that hasn't changed from our legendary Pro Rock is ground clearance. Dynatrack still has the best ground clearance of any high pinion 60 housing out there in the marketplace today. The other thing we did was we reduced the weight considerably. This housing is going to get you a 22 pound lighter front axle or rear axle than our earlier models and also lighter than many of our competitors models. We also cast in an integral control arm mount for the upper control arms on your JKs. Obviously we've already done this on our Pro Rock 44 and on our Pro Rock 80 so we made sure we did it on the new XD60. The other thing that's really inherent to this that you really can't see but we put a lot of time into is the rigidity of the housing. Housing rigidity is key to ring gear and pinion durability. To achieve this we changed the structure of the housing. There's a lot of subtle features in here that you won't notice but we certainly put a lot of time into engineering. The other thing is the way the cover attaches and the method that we use to attach it. It adds a lot of rigidity to the housing and then it also we've gone ahead and modified this housing to accept much larger oversized bearings from a regular Dana 60. Alright let's take a look at the differential cover for the new Pro Rock 60 XD. First of all the cover is a different shape than our older covers used to be. We've also changed the way that it attaches to the housing. Not only does it have thicker ribs and a stronger structure but the cover is now an integral part of the housing structure. It's not just a cover to keep oil inside. To do that, we implemented an O-ring sealing method. So now when we clamp down on this cover, we're going to get a full metal-to-metal -metal contact between the diff cover and the axle housing face. This allows us to put a lot of clamping force in here. In order to get that clamping force, we really stepped up our game with respect to the cover attachment method. What you'll see here are three diff cover bolts. This is what we used on our Pro Rock 44s and Pro earlier Pro Rock 60s. This is a stock Dana 60 diff cover bolt. It's a 3816. This is the new cover bolt for the XD60. Basically, it's a 716 grade 9 bolt. You can torque it to 82 foot pounds. So, when you tighten all these bolts up, you're making the cover an integral part of the housing structure. It's not just there to keep the oil in. The Dynatrack Pro Rock XD uses much larger pinion bearings and carrier bearings. What I have here are the standard carrier bearings you'd find in ordinary Dana 60. As you can see, in the XD we're using a much larger set of carrier bearings. These give the differential a lot more support and that's key to ring gear life and strength. As long as the ring gear can hold its mesh the way we intended it, even under extreme loads, that gear is going to be a lot stronger than if it's allowed to flex out of shape and lose its optimum gear pattern. These bearings, along with these new pinion bearings, are going to add that kind of rigidity to this whole structure. This is the new pinion bearing for the XD60. This is a standard Dana 60 bearing. As you can see, it's a monster. So we've added a lot of strength to the overall structure and gear support. This housing is designed to use the, the later model Super 60 10.1 inch high pinion ring gears. So we're going to get greater gear strength from that ring and pinion because it's a stronger gear. We're going to back it up with a lot of rigidity by putting on that strong diff cover and using those big fasteners and clamping it down. And then we're also going to add a lot more rigidity by using these much larger bearings that you see here. One of the greatest features of the new Pro Rock XD is it takes a three and three quarter inch diameter tube. That leads the industry in terms of tube size for any Dana 60 class axle or any front axle for a four wheel drive that's in the market today. This is the three and an eighth half inch wall that was very common in our pro, older Pro Rock 60s, our older Pro 60s, many factory Dana 60s, and a lot of aftermarket axles. By going to this larger tube, we're going to be able to save weight in the assembly and give you the same strength as this thick wall tube you see here. We can also make this tube a little bit thicker and add a great deal more strength. 
So basically we can keep the strength the same and save 33% in weight, or we can increase the strength and still save weight by going to this larger diameter, thinner wall tube. There's some other key features I want to talk about on the housing. First of all, this is a Dynatrack Pro Rock XD. So it's made in the USA, just like all our other housings are, 100%. We don't import parts. The second thing is, when we reduced the weight, we also made the housing a lot more slender. We wanted to make it so that those guys building those vehicles with the lower body heights could get the same amount of up travel as they would with their stock axle without driving the housing into the engine oil pans. We did a lot of work, so you can drive this housing almost as far as you can your stock Dana 44 housing with no modifications to, to anything underneath. We also added fittings locations for connecting your favorite selectable locker, such as an ARB, an Auburn Ected, and also the Eaton E-Locker. I already talked about the integral upper control arm mount. We also put back here a new vent location that basically prevents any oil from getting into the vent line. It's also mounted 90 degrees so that the hose loops up and doesn't kink. You'll notice that the connections for the ARB airline and the electric connection are also designed at this right 90 degree angle so that it loops up to the body and doesn't kink when the suspension moves up and down. The new ProRock XD60 is here today for you. We're ready to build one for your vehicle, whether it's a Jeep, a truck, or any other kind of four-wheel drive vehicle.